Today for bake day, I'm going to make preacher cake. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you need to grease a 9 by 13 baking dish. You can use a glass one or ceramic and I'm using my Temptations 9 by 13 baker. And I'll come back with the first step. Our first step are the dry ingredients. In my measuring cup here, I have three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, all mixed and sifted. So we're going to set this aside. And we'll now go on to the next step. In my bowl, I have two cups of sugar, three large eggs, one cup of vegetable oil, but in this case I'm using canola oil, and two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to combine these and blend till well combined, and then I'll bring you back. And here are the wet ingredients, well combined. I did this by hand with a whisk. You can use your mixer if you like, but you really don't need to use uh, your mixer or hand mixer. I did this by hand. So the next step I'm going to add is my dry ingredients, and I'm going to uh, pour that into my mixing bowl here. I'm just pouring it all in there and I'm going to mix this well and I'll bring you back. The next step is I'm going to add my one can, 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and the juice. So the whole thing. And I'm going to mix this all together and I'll bring you back. Okay here are my dry and wet ingredients combined and the last step I did was add the uh, crushed pineapple and juice. Now the last two ingredients are going to be one cup of flaked coconut. Make sure that your coconut is fresh and no little balls in your coconut. If so, you want to uh, go ahead and mix that, break them apart, I mean. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut in there. Mmm, smells so good. It smells like suntan lotion with the coconut and the pineapple. Now, this is called preacher cake. I think this is a southern cake. I'm pretty sure that's where I, I read about this, but I've also had this cake before, and it was called something else. I just can't remember. And the last step is your one and a half cups of finely chopped pecans, uh, or you can use walnuts, or you can skip this part if you are allergic to them. And we wanna mix that well into here our beautiful cake batter. Again, I did not use a mixer or a hand mixer. I was able to do this by hand, but if you have carpal tunnel or arthritis issues with your hands, then by all means, use a hand mixer or a mixing uh, stand for your batter. Okay, here's our beautiful creature cake batter. And I'm going to pour this beautiful mixture into my preheated, well, to my 9 by 13 greased baking dish. And we're going to pop it into the oven at 350 degrees. So I'll be back when I put it in the dish. Okay, here is my uh, preacher cake batter poured into my 9 by 13 baking dish. Make sure that you evenly uh, distribute the batter from corner to corner. And also I like to tap my baking dish like two or three times uh, to get any air bubbles out on the bottom. So I'm gonna pop this into the oven, like I said, at 350 degrees and it's going to bake from 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Um, I'm gonna start checking after 30 minutes because all ovens are different and set up differently. So um, when the cake is done, I will bring you back and show you what that looks like. And then I will make the frosting to go on top of this preacher cake. So please come back. Okay, I'm back and here is my baked preacher cake. It took my cake uh, exactly 50 minutes. Uh, I probably could have took it out a little bit sooner. It kind of got dark around the ends here. So once the cake is completely cooled, then I will show you the frosting and I will frost the cake, cut a piece of the cake and show you the inside. So please come back. Okay, 
my preacher cake has cooled and now it's time to make the frosting. In my bowl here, I have a 8 ounce brick of cream cheese. I'm using Challenge cream cheese, full fat. And for my butter, I'm using Tillamook salted butter, one cube. And also it's going to take some pure vanilla extract and of course the powdered confectioner sugar and this is the brand I'm using and also some more chopped pecans. So in my bowl here I'm going to be using my um, hand mixer here. You can use your stand mixer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, beat the cream cheese and butter mixture together. And I'll start it off and then I'll cut you off and bring you back. I forgot to mention, be sure your butter and cream cheese are at room temperature. to add my teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Just a second. And let me blend one more time. spatula, give it a good wipe down on the sides. Sorry for all the noise. I have a cheap camera, so that might be why. Okay, so anyway, you all know how to make <laughs> frosting, I'm sure. I don't know why I'm showing you this part. And then uh, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and add my all the powdered sugar in here, my two cups of powdered sugar. And I'm going to go ahead, combine it with the cream cheese and butter and vanilla, and then I'll bring you back so you don't have to see this part. Okay, here is my cream cheese frosting. Doesn't that look nice and creamy? There's nothing like full fat butter, full fat cream cheese, pure vanilla, extract and powdered sugar for delicious frosting. This is your typical cream cheese frosting. You can use this on carrot cake, cupcakes, any kind of cake you want. Carrot cake, just your basic uh, frosting that I'm going to uh, be putting on the preacher cake. And it's still a little bit warm. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes to cool down. And then I will put this delicious uh, robe of frosting on my preacher cake. So I'll bring you back when it's time to do that part. Okay, here is my completed preacher cake with cream cheese frosting and pecans. Now I did a little research. The reason this is called a preacher cake is that <clears throat> it got its name because if the preacher had, has called and invited himself over for dinner, to your home, you would have the ingredients needed for this cake and they were easily available in your pantry. So that's where they got the name, the Preacher Cake. Um, and it is a, a Southern tradition. Uh, there is some debate about the coconut being inside the cake. So I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me. 
but I went ahead and put the coconut in there and um, this is a very easy cake to make I did it all in one bowl the ingredients are not expensive and also I wanted to backtrack to the very beginning about the ingredients um, I had mentioned that you need three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt, along with a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I went ahead and used um, self-rising flour for this recipe and just added the half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and my cake came out beautiful. I saw this on Ellen's channel. Ellen, forgive me, I think it's Ellen's Delights. Ellen's Eating Delights. I can't recall right now, but she knows who I'm talking about. And she had mentioned that she used self-rising uh, flour, so I went ahead and bought me a little, uh, you know, a little bag of uh, self-rising flour. And I used it today for the first time for this recipe, and I'm very happy. My cake rolls evenly, very high, and this makes a big cake. It's a 9 by 13, so this is great for a party or a potluck, church function shower anytime kind of cake so let me go ahead cut a slice show you what it looks like and I'll give you my opinion on it okay here is a slice of my preacher cake that I made this afternoon for bake day here's a really close-up of the inside very very moist sorry let me use a fork Look at that, just fork tender. This is the middle slice that I took out of the pan. Hopefully you can see there, there's some shadows, sorry. Um, it came out maybe a little too brown for my liking. I would have took it out maybe five minutes earlier. Uh, but it's still, I thought it was burning, but it wasn't. And there's the creamy cream cheese frosting and fresh chopped pecans on top. So let me go ahead and give this a taste for you. Look at that. Oh, I could tell this is so fattening, but I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna cut into it now with my fork. Can you see that? Okay, here goes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Delicious. That's all I can say. Just simply delicious. You know, I, oh, I can't even. Really, seriously. Seriously. Look at that. Now make sure that your cake is completely cool before you put that icing on top. Then you cover it, keep it in the refrigerator. Mmm, oh. My husband's not here right now, but when he gets home, he is going to love this cake. It's a little bit crumbly, but that's because it's so moist. Oh, people, seriously, preach your cake. It's a winner say thank you to everyone for watching to my regular subscribers my new subscribers I really appreciate all of you and have a good day bye bye